Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a haul. This is a haul, mini review, and swatches of the ColourPop Super Shocked eyeshadows, and they are so good. I don't know if ColourPop is a new brand, or if they've been around for a long time, or if they've just now started coming out into the whole YouTube community, but I've seen them all over Instagram and YouTube, and I just had to get them. I heard about them from Desi Perkins. If you guys don't know who she is, I'll link her channel in the description of this video. Also from Nikki Tutorials, who is my shit right now. Super creamy, super blendable. They are not a cream shadow, but they feel like a cream, and they blend like a cream, but they also blend like a powder, and it's very strange. The consistency of them is the most metallic, so, I don't even know the word for it. The metallic isn't even the right word. Like, metallic is true, but they are so, they're foiled. They're beautiful. And so I'm going to do, um, not necessarily a review because, as you can tell, I really like them. So my review is they're amazing. Um, but I am going to swatch all the colors that I got for you. I got seven colors, but they are only $5 a piece, I believe, for these Super Shock shadows. And they're just, they're excellent. You can't beat it. So if you're looking for a really pigmented, super high shine eyeshadow, these are probably for you. So the first color that I got is a champagne-y, goldy bronze with flecks of gold, and it appears to be silver shimmer as well, but mostly gold. This is so beautiful. It's called Amaze, and it is just a really good wearable everyday type of shade. I am wearing it on my lids today, which um, I did my makeup hours and hours and hours ago, so it probably doesn't look that great. And I have a col another color on top of it, but it's just such a beautiful gold, um, but champagne-y bronze color. The next color that I'm going to show you is a color called Game Face. Now this is like a true copper. Um, that's what I would call it at least. It's a very, very beautiful copper with dark orange deep copper flecks of shimmer in it. So beautiful. And like I said, through and through, through each eyeshadow, the the feel of them, the pigmentation, they all are excellently, so amazingly blendable, so creamy. You can't even believe it. The way they feel is, it's like nothing else. I love warm tones on the eyes, so this is my cup of tea for sure. Keeping into the warmer tones, um, this is not nearly as shimmery as the others. And it's, it's actually like almost matte. It's called a satin shadow. And this one is called Sunny's. And it is an, a true orange. My camera picks it up a lot, lot, lot lighter than it is in person. It is a true orangey orange. Very, very little shimmer in it, but a beautiful shadow nonetheless. The next one is one that I probably won't use as often, but I need it in my collection to have such a beautiful silver shade. This is legit silver. It's like liquid silver on your eyelids. It feels like it. It looks like it. It's perfect if you want that really, really bright, huge pop of shiny, shimmery silver. This is going to be it. And this is called Liberty. I absolutely love this one. I absolutely love all of them. So, I mean, I can't really say that, you know, oh, this was my favorite. I love them all. They're great. The next one is probably my favorite one of all. This one is called Get Lucky. It is a cool toned gold and it is so beautiful. Like it is gold as fuck. Like when you put this on your eyelids, it, it, your eyelids are made of gold. So beautiful. I do have a little bit of this on my eyelids as well today. I didn't really try to build up the color as much as I could have, but it is so, it is so beautiful and such a true liquid gold appearance. The next one that I got is called Envy, and this one is so interesting. It is such a gorgeous color. You can't quite understand how gorgeous this is until you see it in person. In some lights it looks black, in some lights it looks purple, and in some lights it looks both. It is so beautiful. It's a dark black shadow with lots of purpley, it's more of a warm tone purple, so it's almost like a reddish purple shimmer all throughout. Super gorgeous shadow. This one swatches a little more, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say patchy, I'm not going to say patchy at all, but the best way to apply ColourPop shadows is with your finger anyway. I swatched this onto my hand when I first got it, and I had it on the back of my hand, and two days later I noticed the back of my hand is still black. I can only imagine, I have not tried this on my eyes yet, but I can only imagine that this is gonna be a bitch to get off your eyes. I don't know what it was, but 
and I wash my hands. I wash my hands like 500 times a day because I work at a veterinary hospital. So I'm constantly like touching animals and washing my hands and disinfecting. And even at my house, I had done my dishes a couple of times. The shit was still on the back of my hands. So definitely going to need a really good makeup remover to remove that one. But it is so beautiful. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is called Fantasy. And this color is... Oh, can you even just... It is a true like magenta purpley pink with flecks of it looks like gold and it's so so pigmented and so beautiful. I don't wear colors like this often but I felt like I just had to get this because I mean really I just it's such a beautiful shadow but if you really want that true super shiny shimmery gorgeous magenta fuchsia shock then this is that this is absolutely perfect for you. So a couple more things about ColourPop eyeshadows. They are, it says here, made with love in the USA and also keep the magic in, close the tar, close the tar, and close the jar tightly after use. That is, I would imagine because these sh pigments are so, 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 so buttery and creamy that the moisture gets lost and they start to dry out if you don't really screw the lids on. But these are only $5 a piece, so inexpensive. I am not paid by ColourPop. Uh, I just bought these myself because I saw Desi Perkins and Nikki Tutorials talk about them, which they may have been paid because, let's face it, they got this shit for free. They really are worth the hype. They are so beautiful, so, so, so pigmented, and they really are as metallic as they appear. So these are the shadows after many, many hours of wear. I've had them on my eyes for absolutely like a ton of time now. But um, you can see like they are very beautiful. Like this is some Makeup Geek shadows, but also the ColourPop is the shimmer that you see on the lid. So those are the swatches of the ColourPop shadows. Super comparable to drugstore pricing. So if you guys are looking at me, you cannot beat that price. I bought them online. I got them just in a few days shipping. It really wasn't bad at all. So definitely try them out if you're looking for something. Even if you just want like a couple of good base colors that you would that you could use for like kind of everyday looks. These three would be my recommendation. Amaze, Liberty, and Get Lucky. The gold, the silver, and the champagne. I hope you guys like this video. If you would like more videos from me, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just subs somewhere. <laughs> You guys know how to subscribe to a fucking YouTube channel. If you guys want to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all at Robbie D. Christie. And I thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.